It's over. It's over. It's done. It's. Hey guys. hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to, to our channel. channel. So today's video, we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be, it's like a techie video kind of. Mm -hmm. We're gonna teach you guys how we did our intro because a couple people asked us how we did it. So we're gonna show you. It's so simple. Yeah, we're gonna show you. It's super simple and promise you if you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget to like, comment, comment share, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Jess and Abby. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, first thing you guys want to do is open up Kino, and you guys can pick from whichever one you want. Yeah, whichever background you like. So we're gonna just do a quick, a regular background. You can double click that to type your name of the name of your channel. So Wherever we're gonna name type you in want, yeah. Just an Abby, of course. This part, I mean, for our intro, we don't really yeah, need it, so we're just gonna delete it. it. Yeah. So you can select your name and go to font, and you can change your Whatever font you want. from this one. That's cute. It is to American Typewriter. We went with bison, so that's what we're gonna do. And over here, you guys can see like where your font is. So if you move it to the side, you're gonna see it go to the side. If you move it over here, you're gonna see it go where we want it in the center. So that's where it's gonna stay. And go back to text. Now, select the word you know, by the word. word. Word by word. We selected our word by word, and then we went to choose, and we picked a picture and this is not the picture we used in our um intro but, but we're just putting a picture right now yeah. for you guys to show, see what we're doing so select the word by word go to image fill and because you did it already it's gonna just automatically do it for you image fill and it's gonna do it after you do that you then go to animate and you select the whole um, font and you add an effect. Now over here it has a bunch of different effects that you can do. You make it appear, you could blur it. You can press dissolve, drift. It has just a bunch of stuff that you guys can do. And it's so, oh, that's cute. I like that one. Drop. So the one that me and Jess have is typewriter. Where is it? Typewriter. That's the one that me and Jess have. And then for build out, you go to build out right here. And you add an effect and you can literally, this is the one yeah, that me and Jess have. Yeah. So you select that. And then you go to build order. Because if you don't go there, then it's gonna just like mess up. And you click efforts. <laughs> One, yeah, it's gonna mess up that. It's just bear with me, okay? It makes sense. And then you click preview, and you see it's all flowing together because you know it's flowing, okay? <laughs> all right, so yeah, you just save that, and then we just that's the, the first part of our intro. So after you're done the first part of the intro. You go all the way, you go to insert and you go all the way down, choose. You select the image that you want. You can make it smaller. So we're gonna just make it this size. And then you go to text, move it over. You don't want it to overlap. And you type whatever you wanna type. Okay, okay. And then you move this over here. You can select it, select it, make it big if you want, or whatever size you want to make it. But we're just going to leave it this size. You can change the font. 
here. And I might as well do something to font. So I'm gonna use that. And then after you do all that, you go to animate, add effect, and you're gonna click swoosh. And you do the same for this. Animate, swoosh. Then you go to build order down here and you make sure you put it to flow together. So this is how it's gonna be. You have to make sure it's with each other and not after. And then that's it. And you can preview it to see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, you can see, boom. So I totally forgot to tell you guys that you can change how you want the effect to come in. Right now it's selected from left. You can also do it from right and that's how it'll come in. Or you could do it from the center and that's how it'll come in. Right now, well, when I showed it to you guys in earlier on in the video, it was from left and that's how it came in. You can also change the speed. You can make it come in slow. You see how that one is coming in super slow. You guys can also change the delays as how how long you want it to take to come in. Right now I have it on eight seconds and you see how long it's taking to come in. So you guys can play around with it, but that's something that I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning. Look out for our next video where we show you guys how to put it together and edit on iMovie. Yep. Right. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, like comment, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Right, Justin Peace, love, love and, and blessings. Bye. Bye.